On a cold day in Columbus, Ohio, in 2018, a sinister plot quietly unfurled amidst the city's usual routines. Columbus, bustling as the capital of Ohio, carried on with its daily business under the glow of the morning sun, painting its skyline with radiant hues. People hurried to their workplaces, greeted by the comforting scent of freshly brewed coffee wafting from local cafes, while the hum of the city underscored the normalcy of the day. Meanwhile, in a tranquil neighborhood, Rachel Anderson marked her 24th birthday. Rachel, an ambitious student aspiring to become a funeral director, was highly respected among her peers in the Ohio Funeral Directors Association. Unbeknownst to her, what started as a day of celebration was about to take a tragic turn. Across town, Anthony Pardon was weaving a dark web of plans. A registered sex offender with a lengthy history of violent crimes, Pardon had spent over three decades incarcerated. Despite being monitored after his release, he had managed to slip through the cracks of surveillance. His past was a haunting mosaic of rapes, robberies, and attempted murders, and that day, he was poised to add another chilling chapter to his criminal history. As the day unfolded in Columbus, Ohio, the city continued its usual rhythm, oblivious to the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. Daily life hustled and bustled along, the heartbeat of the city steady and undisturbed, unaware of the impending tragedy that would soon strike close to home. As the sun began its descent, casting long, dancing shadows upon the streets, a sense of unease settled over the city that had awakened to a seemingly ordinary day. Little did Columbus know, it was on the brink of being shaken by a chilling crime. Rachel Anderson, a vibrant 24-year-old woman with dreams of becoming a funeral director, was the one whose life would be brutally taken. Rachel was a study in contrasts, a young woman with a radiant smile drawn to a profession often associated with grief. Her path was not mere whimsy but a deep-seated aspiration to serve others at their most vulnerable moments. Her journey into funeral directing, though unconventional for someone her age, spoke volumes about her empathy, her profound understanding of life, and her desire to provide comfort in times of sorrow. In Columbus, Ohio, Rachel's life was marked by unwavering dedication to her chosen path. She was a committed student, always eager to learn and grow. Rachel's dedication was matched only by her warmth and kindness making her a source of positivity for her friends and family. She was known for her encouraging words and comforting smiles, her presence a beacon of hope. Rachel's active involvement in the Ohio Funeral Directors Association underscored her commitment and passion for her chosen field. It reflected her unwavering determination to make a meaningful difference in the lives of others, even amidst tragedy. She wasn't just a member but an indispensable part of the community, contributing her ideas, energy, and spirit. Rachel transcended her profession. She was a daughter, a sister, and a friend, a person who made a lasting impact and left an imprint on people's hearts. Her presence filled rooms with laughter and made others feel acknowledged and valued. Beyond her vibrant personality and professional ambitions, Rachel harbored dreams of success of making a meaningful difference and envisioning a future brimming with promise. A beacon of hope and dreams, Rachel remained unaware of the darkness looming ahead. The perpetrator behind this horrific act was Anthony Pardon, a registered sex offender with a history scarred by violence. Pardon's life was a disturbing chronicle of heinous crimes, a testament to his disregard for human life and dignity. His criminal record unfolded like a chilling narrative, marked by numerous cases of rape, robbery, and attempted murder. Despite spending over three decades behind bars, it was evident that his time served had done little to rehabilitate him upon his release. Despite being constantly watched as a sexual offender, Pardon's evil impulses continued to linger beneath the surface, waiting for the right opportunity to strike again. Tragically, that opportunity would come in the shape of Rachel Anderson, the question that nags at all of us is how a man like Pardon, who had such a sinister past, managed to evade the protection of the system meant to keep us safe. How could he, under surveillance, have committed such a horrific crime? The sad truth is that the system does malfunction occasionally, and when it does, 
the consequences can be catastrophic and irreversible. The frightening reality that a predator can lurk in plain sight is highlighted by Pardon's ability to carry out this murder despite the vigilante's eyes watching him. This emphasizes the necessity of ongoing monitoring for a system that is not simply reactive but proactive. A system that, on that failed day in Columbus, Ohio, prevented the act rather than being punished. He was like a ticking time bomb, poised to blow on Rachel's birthday. His past was just as terrible as the act he was going to perpetrate. A day meant for celebration, Pardon kidnapped, raped, and murdered her, leaving her lifeless body in a closet. Hi everyone, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button. It's free and you'll be notified of each new video. And it really helps. The unsettling reality of this statement is enough to unsettle anyone. It serves as a stark reminder of the horrifying reality of this crime. Anthony Pardon, a man with a history of violent offenses, transformed what should have been a day of happiness and celebration into a nightmarish ordeal with a callous disregard for human life. He picked Rachel's birthday, a day when she should have been surrounded by loved ones and showered with gifts, and instead, he abducted, violated, and brutally murdered her. Imagine the terror and confusion she must have felt. He stalked his prey, biding his time, waiting for the right moment to strike. The idea of betrayal is too terrible to consider, but it's the grim truth of this situation. Rachel's life was taken by Pardon, who also stole her dignity by concealing her lifeless corpse in a closet intended for seclusion. When her body was discovered the next day, the community was shocked and horrified by the revelation, which brought tears to their eyes and made them realize how horrible this murder was. It's hard to understand the blatant disrespect for human life. This isn't just a narrative of a young woman being murdered, it's a story of stolen innocence. It raises the questions of what drives a man to such depths of depravity and how a human being can inflict such agony and suffering on another. After the crime, the community was left to pick up the pieces, deal with the terrible reality of Rachel's premature death, and seek justice for the atrocity committed against her. Shattered dreams and a life cut short serve as a stark reminder of the darkness that lurks in the shadows and the evil that walks among us. A day of happiness transformed into a nightmare, and a life full of promise was lost. He was found guilty and given a life sentence without the possibility of release, yet, even though justice was served, her absence left a gap that cannot be filled. The trial unfolded as a deeply distressing ordeal for all involved, each piece of evidence serving as a grim reminder of the heinous act committed. Pardon's history, scarred by violent crimes, was exposed for all to see. The jury confronted a man who, despite years of incarceration and monitoring upon release, had perpetrated such an unimaginable crime. While the conviction brought a measure of justice, it was a bitter pill for Rachel's family and friends to swallow. Their cherished Rachel, a hopeful future funeral director, became tragically defined by the crime inflicted upon her. Within the courtroom, their anguished victim impact statements reverberated, painting a poignant portrait of the immense loss they had suffered. Rachel's family shared memories of a vibrant young woman filled with life and aspirations. Rachel Anderson was not just a dedicated student but also a cherished member of the Ohio Funeral Directors Association, and her absence was deeply felt not only by her family but by the entire community. Her loss created a void that could never be filled. Despite their overwhelming grief, Rachel's loved ones chose to remember her for the vibrant life she lived rather than the tragic way it ended. They spoke fondly of her kindness, her ambition, and her unwavering dedication to her chosen field. They made a conscious effort to honor her memory and keep her spirit alive. The aftermath of Rachel's murder serves as a stark reminder of the profound ripple effects of such violent crimes. It's not just the life that is taken, but the lives of those left behind that are forever altered. The pain, the sorrow, and the emptiness they feel serve as poignant reminders of the preciousness of life. In memory of Rachel Anderson, a young woman with a future full of promise, tragically taken too soon, 
may her story serve as a poignant reminder for all of us to cherish the moments we have and the lives we hold dear. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.